Hello and welcome back to Not So Quarantined with The Edge. We are back in my kitchen, but today for a different sort of project. This is going to be my first grab and go kit steam project. Uh, so these are free kits that you can pick up at the library full of craft supplies to complete a project alongside me only on video. Uh, so this week we are going to make a catapult using a few simple um, um, uh, items. We're going to be using pencils, paint stirrer, some rubber bands, duct tape, and a little cup. Um, if you did get your grab and go kit from the library, you should have all of this in there. Um, if you did not or cannot get the, the, to the library to pick up a grab and go kit, or um, you can make this at home as long as you have enough pencils, some duct tape, like I said, rubber bands, paint stirs you can get at a hardware store, or you could use a wooden pencil. Um, I, plastic pencils might work, but they may also snap. So just be careful when you're, uh, when you're using that. Um, so let me just get started. So the first thing that we're gonna do is create a tripod um, for our, uh, the tripod base for, for the catapult. So I'm just gonna lower the camera here so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. So unfortunately you can't see my face anymore, just my chest. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna make four of these. I made three already because I wanna, I don't wanna have you watch me make four of these on a video that would seem kind of boring. So to make these, we're gonna take three pencils, line them up on your table into a triangle. Um, I always like to cut my um, duct tape first just to have it ready. Um, you may as well. So now I'm just gonna place the duct tape. I'm not really attaching it. I'm merely placing it over each of these corners. And you'll see why in just a second. So just place it over the corners. You can place it so that there's like a little bit over the uh, the edge, I'll show you in a second, over the, or I mean over the, the corner of it. So that you have, you know, so that you have like a little bit up here. Um, now I'm gonna flip it over and now I can just see Make sure that all of my uh, corners are connected. I don't wanna have like a big gap or space in the corners. So now that I have that all connected, I'm just gonna wrap it over nice and tight because again, I don't want any types of gaps. I'm gonna wrap everything up and create my uh, tripod. So I just created a little bit of a gap. I did what I told you not to do. Shame on me. Okay, there we go. Getting there. So duct tape is very sticky once you stick the duct tape side to another duct tape side, FYI, in case you run into any problems. So um, just pause the video and make uh, three more of these so that you have four all together. Um, so the next step is we are now going to um, attach all of these. Oh wait, did we need three or four? You know what? I think I made too many. You you know what? I made a mistake. We don't need four, you only need three. So just make three of these. And you're gonna attach three of these like this. I don't know where I got four from. I guess I thought of something on the bottom. Okay, so we only need three. So that'll save you a little bit of time. And if you made an extra, then just go ahead and make a secondary catapult. Just make two more and you can have two catapults instead of one. Um, so now we're gonna attach everything just like this. So we're gonna grab some more duct tape and just start uh, connecting all the tops or, or all these corners together like this. You might wanna use more than one piece of duct tape at each corner. I'm just gonna start off kind of uh, corner by corner here. Oh, right, we do want forks. I want another one. Well, hmm, I guess you can. I guess we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, maybe we will, we will use the fourth on this corner here. All right, so do use all four of them. Yeah, that would actually make more sense as we're going along. Yeah, that gives us a nice strong base with which to catapult objects with. So if you're starting to think of what you're going to catapult, start thinking about soft objects like a marshmallow. Um, I just made a little ball out of some old duct tape. Um, think like that. Don't think like a marble or, you know, a sharp object, something that's going to break something or hurt somebody. Do not do that. Think about an object that will be nice and light and will not do any damage and not get you into any trouble because I don't want to hear, oh, 
from some parent that, oh, the librarian took me to do, 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 do with the, the thing and I, I shot it at my, my brother's eye and it took his eye out. You know, no, we're not, we're not playing that game. All right. So once you have all four, yes, all four, not three, sorry for the confusion, uh, taped together like that. So now this is our tripod. This is our base for our catapult. Now we're going to take our, um, uh, the ruler or um, paint stirrer. And now we're going to, actually, maybe I'll do it this way so you can see. I'm going to kind of stick it in towards this area here and get a piece of duct tape on there. Going to use an extra pencil that I have just to kind of make sure that it gets jammed in there. So we don't want this coming loose because this is going to be a very important part of our catapult. Okay, so I'm going to jam a piece of duct tape in there and just get it, this thing taped down as best as best I can. Maybe I'll even do some on like the bottom side here. So grab another piece of duct tape here, duct tape it along onto like the bottom here. Uh, just that it's nice, that's in there nice and secure. Maybe one last piece. I'm just going to put one more piece just across. So like I said, I really want this piece in and secure. All right, so now I have my part of it, the, the, the catapult kind of, oh, wait, I may have done that too much. I may have done this too well. <laughs> Forgot this needs to be in an upwards position. Okay, so now I'm going to do the rubber band. This is a little bit tricky. So I'm going to wrap the rubber band around... Wait, how do I do this again? How do I do the rubber band again? Oh. Maybe I can go up and around. All right, that looks good. So what I did, so you can wrap it underneath this part and go underneath your, then through one side here. Actually, this isn't good. Then you can go onto that side. Maybe around and up, yeah, okay. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wrap it here, go inside and then out along the front, then back inside here. And then up over that. That should give us a nice little, yeah. That'll shoot something very soft, very far. Because remember, we're not going to shoot anything hard or sharp. So now we're gonna take a little cup. Um, I'm gonna cut this down. I don't want this much cup. So let me just grab some scissors. And I don't have scissors in my kitchen right now. So I'm just gonna use a utility knife. Use scissors, don't use a utility knife. Um, it's a lot safer. You don't, this is kind of overkill for this project. But I'm just gonna cut this down because I don't need a big cup. Like if I use the cup like this, it's gonna get like stopped, you know? Like I want something about that size. Uh, I'm gonna use, you know, maybe one or two more pieces of duct tape to attach this. Right about here. Remember, you don't want to put this all the way at the edge because you want to be able to hold back here. So I'm just gonna go and wrap around and under. Okay, I've used a little too much duct tape. No problem. Okay, the video. So now I have my catapult. It looks like this. And it is now armed because I have a little bit of a uh, little thing in there, a little bit of a, a bowl of duct tape. So now I'm going to fire it. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pull back and release. Ooh, that went about six, seven feet. So there's the project. Um, please try it out. Remember, don't do anything dangerous with what you're with your projectile. Okay, check with your parents. And don't like shoot this at your brother, sister, mom, dad, cousin, windows, 
um, antiques, glass cabinets, things like that, you know, like just shoot it off in the distance and always do something soft. So there's your catapult. Please remember to try to take a picture and share it with us. We'd love to see what you've made. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this and I'll be back in another month with your next uh, steam, uh, not so quarantined with the edge steam project. Take care.